Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was just playing around trying to think of some things you could do with a macro. And if you see here, we have Arial font. I'll tell you what, let's change one of them to some, some other font, Julian. And just so you'll see it working. And if you had a bunch of text, you could select them and then go up to object and convert them to curve. But let's do it with a one key stroke. Let's go to tools, macros, scripts in later versions. Yours might say macros. I actually need to go to tools and scripts and start recording. I'm going to say text. Two curves, just C, text to C. Now I'm going to go to edit, select all text, go to effect, or no, excuse me, go to object and convert it to a curve. Now we can go to tools, scripts, stop recording. And then if we go to tools, scripts, and script editor or macro editor, there's our text to curve. Now you can see that this is already curved, so we're gonna back up where this is a font. We don't have to do anything but double click on this. And in that one stroke, it changed them all to, to, to words or to curves. So if you right click on this and hit a sign a keyboard stroke, I've already tried, I don't like that. So I'm gonna hit delete. I'm gonna type in a new one. I'm gonna try you know, just something you could remember, like alternate three. And put a sign and then say, okay. So this is now a, not a text, so we're going to back up. But let's go alternate three. And in that one keystroke, basically, you've changed this into a curve. So we can do the same thing with the other one. Go to tools, scripts or macros, start recording. We're gonna call this shapes to curves. As Soon as you do that, you start recording there's no hurry. Go to edit. Now it's gonna select all the objects, which is includes the, includes the text. But that doesn't matter because if we hadn't already converted the text, it would not select it. And then we're gonna go to object and convert it to curve. And now that you see this is no longer a, a, a rectangle, it's a curve. So let's go to tools, scripts, stop recording. You should have done that really first before I selected that one because it might mess it up a little bit. So let's back up here and make this a rectangle again. And we're gonna go right here, shapes to curve. And in that split second, it turned the curve into a, or the rectangle into a curve. So we can go keyboard shortcut. I've already kind of played around with it. I didn't like that. So now we're gonna go alternate six, just one step up and hit assign. You'll just have to make up your own and, and hopefully remember them. So let's do this one more time with a shortcut. Let's back up here where we have just fonts and rectangles and polygons. You can see right here, it's a polygon, there's a star. So let's go alternate three. And now this is a curve. And now let's go alternate six. And now this is not a rectangle anymore, it's a curve. It's not a star anymore, it's a curve. So if you had a lot of objects on your page, by going there and selecting and making it select them all, you're, you're making a lot life a lot better. So if you have a lot of text sometimes that's all over the page, you know, very easily, you know, if, you know, let's take it back. Let's take a, let's put all the fonts. So they're a font. It doesn't matter, you know, where the words are. You could always go up to view or really edit, select all text, but, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Five instead of one keystroke. Let's just back up here and try it one more time. So this is a font now. 
we're gonna alternate three. And now this is a curve. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.